Hi guys, it's Christine Mann here. So I thought it was time that I give you a little update on what is going on in my health and some stuff that you have been asking me that you want to know about. So um, I've, I've shared a bit in some of my previous videos about my health journey and so I'm just going to give a quick recap for those of you that haven't seen those videos. Um, I have been sick since I was like a kid and so um, even as a kid, I remember sitting there watching my friends run and play and just not having that desire to do that and just watching and not understanding how they could do so much. And then as I grew older and into my teen years, I wanted to do basketball and different things. And I still love basketball and volleyball, but I actually wasn't able to keep up. And it wasn't just because I was lazy or not disciplined. I was sick and very fatigued. So that's where the chronic fatigue syndrome um, started to play a part. And there, there's been waves and uh, months and years that have changed that where sometimes I'm better and sometimes I'm worse. But the, the general feeling of my past has been chronic fatigue syndrome. So I have made a lot of choices based on that. Um, one of the things that greatly impacted my wellness is the endometriosis that I suffered. And it got to the point where I was sick all month long pretty much bedridden and the medications that I was on and the pain meds were becoming far too often, far too much and began to just eat through my stomach so that I couldn't eat anything. I, I was living on yogurt and um, soda crackers because everything just would, I couldn't keep it down. I was just too sick. Everything was a mess in there. So I ended up with endometriosis. I ended up with a hysterectomy. <laughs> And, um, and that actually started to make a difference. And then I could actually see what was going on in my body. Because with that, I was in so much pain all the time. I didn't even recognize all the other things going on. So um, then I began to see, oh, this is a problem. <laughs> and then being in Africa, and I lived on antibiotics for a year as an anti-malarial um, prevention. That did a number on my stomach in a really bad way. Um, and then having malaria five times did a number on my entire body. <laughs> so there's been, there's a history of a lot of illness in my past. And so when I joined this company I'm with now, um, I've been trying something else for seven years, um, called the Guaifenesin protocol for fibromyalgia. And my gut just couldn't heal on that protocol because there were so many restrictions. There was a lot of natural products I couldn't have. And so my gut just continued to get worse. And um, I couldn't heal it without some natural products. And so um, about three years ago, I started to get unbelievable allergies. I remember we were driving. We had the foster boys with us. And we were driving down for our holidays and we stopped to have a picnic and all of a sudden my eyes puffed up and got so itchy and red and I started to sneeze and sneeze and sneeze and sneeze and sneeze and I was like what is happening I've never had allergies before that so it was this new experience that I thought would just kind of go away I thought maybe it was a cold a cold would have been better <laughs> it never went away it got worse and I lived on um, anti, um, uh, oh, the for the allergies. <laughs> I'm having a day. Oh my gosh. Okay. So allergies. I was taking these meds all the time. And that's not healthy either. And so I was trying to figure out what to do. And I needed to stop taking all of these chemicals to try to heal something that has a root cause. So um, I ended up deciding to stop with that protocol that I was on for my fibromyalgia and start on something new that is all plant-based and that gets to the root cause and to histamines. Thank you, Faith. <laughs> I'm like, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yes, um, so now the products that I'm on are actually getting to some root causes and I'm learning that our gut affects 
so many things, you guys. Not just our gut health so that you don't have acid reflux, but like gut health that affects your hormones, your sleep, that affects allergies, leaky gut, which causes problems with your thyroid. I mean, this, it's a cascading effect and I started to see it in my life. And so I'm super excited about these new products and they have not miraculously cured me of anything. But this is what I can tell you after almost five months on them. I am actually now having some good nights of sleep. And at the beginning it happened for a couple days and then it stopped for like, I don't know, a month or two. And now it's like these waves of some mornings I'll just wake up and I'll be like, oh, that felt good. <laughs> It doesn't happen every night, but it's more and more often, which is a sign of healing in my body, and I'm super excited about it. Another thing is my mood. So there are days where I really struggle, and I can still put a smile on my face and do my videos with you and struggle the rest of the day. But other days, I'll be like actually filled with like this lightness and this joy that makes it, oh, thank you, Faith. <laughs> this joy that makes life just fun and I'm excited to talk to everybody and I want to like reach out and follow up with all my friends and find out how everybody's doing and that is such a positive thing you guys so these these movements are up and down but they're going in the right direction so I'm super excited about that um ooh less itchy scalp was one of the things that happened early on that I never even noticed and um, and I had to, it took me a bit to realize because it used to be that my scalp got so itchy and I'd be like, oh, it's time to shower and or wash my hair. <laughs> it's okay, I shower every day. <laughs> but all of a sudden I had to wash my hair and now I actually forget, <laughs> which is so horrible. <laughs> so <laughs> now I actually have to count, okay, how many days has it been since I washed my hair? It's time to go and I wash my hair. <laughs> So the itchy scalp is gone. All of that to say the itchy scalp is gone. And that's a, actually a really big deal. I tried so many different products to try to get the itch to stop. Um, and my digestion is improving, you guys. So I actually had, about a month ago, I had made some meatloaf that I told you guys about. I did a video on it. And I haven't been able to eat that for a long time. Whenever I do, I, I get the acid reflux and it makes me feel really sick to my stomach. I can eat it, it stays down, but it burns a bit. And there's nothing in there that burns. And this time I ate it, it didn't do that. So that was super exciting. So there's just, there's little things, but they're happening and we're heading in the right direction. And I think I'm getting less allergies instead of more, which is what was happening before I started on these products. So if you guys wanna take control of your health, and if you want to see some amazing improvements and work towards good health like I am, please message me. I really would be so excited to share with you. These things, these products really work. <laughs> they do. And the stories are so exciting. So please message me. Leave me a comment and a like. I love you guys. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.